Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and hope you're doing well. We are still in building and experimenting with some items in No Man's Sky. So today we're going to be using some cubes, cubed rooms, some walls, and some garage doors. And we are going to attempt building an automatic retractable bridge. Now, I'm just going to put these items up as an example. This isn't the structure. You can build the structure any way you wish. But for this example, I'm just going to make an H pattern here using some of these cubed rooms. So the next thing I want you to do is to get walls in the, I think they should be here in the, where are they at? I just had it. In the infrastructure, you'll find walls. So I want you to put those on top of the cubed rooms on both sides. Or you can be creative and just do a bridge with one side, but for our example here we'll just we'll do it on both sides where the doors retract. Okay. So you get something that looks like that. And again the outside structures can be whatever you want that'll attach to a door or something. We will delete these and we'll be left with the walls. And let's go back into the inventory and see if we can find these. Uh, these are called just decoration, but they're like a garage door. So let's put a few of these up and we'll figure out which way they open and close. Alright, I think I got in a few different directions. Alright, see how they will open up? We're going to delete these because those are going the wrong direction. So that one looks pretty good. And why don't we use the top? See if we can get one on the top as an example too. Sometimes you have to play around with the connection points. I had one, I think I missed it. Let's try that one, see if it'll snap on there. Okay. See how these on the top one the bars are going in, the door closes that way. That's what we're looking for. Okay, what should we do next? Why don't we, maybe we'll work our way to a different vantage point. See if we can get some more of these. I think we'll go for the top rather than the lower. If you could put a door, you could put a door in the lower one, but we decided to just go roof to roof. Let's see if we can get this one snapped on correctly. Okay, there you go. See how they close together? No, oh, that one didn't snap right. Oops. And while you're up here, if you're doing this outside in a high location, I want you to be very careful so you don't fall down. <laughs> All right. Now I gotta spin that one around too. Alright. One moment, and we will delete these. And I'd make a larger example, but I only had like 10% space available on, my ba on the base that I'm working at here. So I'm gonna make this a small example, but it'll work. You can build one of these from one side to the other in your building location or your base location. All right, see how they uh, it'll disappear as you walk across. They'll just show up for you. All right, pretty cool, huh? All right, so that, that's just a, an example of how you can do it. You can get creative and do anything you want with this, but this is just a general idea. So. Why don't we just see if we can put some other structure up top there. Maybe with a door. Yeah, you can put one of those up there. That should work. We'll be able to get out of there. Uh, I don't have too many resources here, so why don't we just do a little something simple. Put another cubed room on that side and see if I can get that door. There we go. There's a door. And... Let's see if we can get across. There we go. If we back up enough, we're going to be able to close the doors. As you can see, you'd be in a pretty safe position. Alright. Check that out. Pretty cool. Uh-oh. I forgot to put a floor on the other side. 
I'm gonna fall to my doom and get stuck in here. Alright, let's see if we can float out of here. Well, that's pretty much gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tip. And we will catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching and leave some comments. I enjoy reading them. Peace.